My vision for PV is having a community advisory board, working with PV residents and the town council. There will be a stronger partnership and collaboration between developers, planning and zoning, economic development and innovation on the design of attainable housing. With this construction of Aspire Sports, a sports and wellness complex next to Finley to Toyota Center, there is a need for a pedestrian and bike overpass and underpass at Glassford Hill Road to connect communities to the entertainment center. Pedestrian and bike friendly areas are a cohesive vision for elements that create quality of life. Planning and zoning commissioners require proactive continuing education to address noise and light pollution and pedestrian safety as priorities. Best practices for growth in the are discussed in the Journal of the American Planning Association, which should be provided to all P&Z commissioners. Key initiatives. Key initiatives are transparency of PV plan development, including infrastructure, evacuation safety, water supply and sustainability, and industry development to raise the average PV per person and household incomes comparable to that of the average U.S. resident. Projected growth 2010 census count for PV was about 39,000 persons, census count for 2020 was about 47,000 persons, an increase about 19.6%, 8.2% uh, more than greater than Prescott. Continued yearly growth to 20% would result in a population of nearly 81,000 people by 2023. With projected growth, continued in, in innovation will be needed to maintain a strong sense of community and family values we have come to know and love in this town we call home. Water supply and sustainability to achieve a 100-year safe yield is not transparent. PV claims 950 billion gallons of accessible water. Aquifers commingled, connected, completed groundwater from private wells. Private water wells are not included in any water calculations, which is an accountability problem of well water depleting aquifers or earning reclaimed effluent treated water credits. Water officials were recently questioned about measuring changes of soil in the water's pores and flow of groundwater in water zones following displacement of sand, rock, clay, and sediment after pumping out stored water. No measurements of water displacement are conducted. Water supply cannot be accurately determined without measuring displacement and calculations of well water. Currently, PV pumps out 5 million gallons of water daily to our resident population. That's 1.620 billion gallons of water will be used with accelerated population growth by 2023 to a projected about 81,000 persons calculated water consumption will be 2.7999 billion gallons of water. Aquifer water levels have been continuously depleted for decades. Water importation costs PV 24 million in 2004 to receive 46% portion of water from a pipeline still not built. Imported water needed to prove a 100-year safe yield must be immediately available to the developer before construction begins. Home buyers must know prior to sale all financial expectations and obligations to supplement the developer's cost of water. The lack of transparency and accountability of significant water variables creates questionable fulfillment of AZ's AMA safe yield mandate. The most urgent issues are transparency of town actions, preserving community input and infrastructure development consistent with General Plan 2025. Timelines for planned growth and development will correspond to the approved arterial collector and local road completion dates. Urgent issues include evacuation safety, uh, expansion, transparency of water supply and sustainability, support for industry development, income improvement, and attainable housing. My initiatives will provide available recordings to PV of timelines, dates for all planned growth and development with advance notice of what, when, and where construction will occur and by whom. This will include evacuation plans identifying streets and landfill which could potentially be used with, with the mayor's declaration based on emergency information. 
Town Council members will attend PNZ meetings to have more insight into how development and zoning issues are considered and the views of PV citizens' concerns when PNZ is voting on community issues. PV's, I'm sorry, PV's economic development staff will attend and provide PNZ with input at commission meetings. PNZ will participate in work study sessions to learn from the best practices and failures of similar communities nationwide as discussed in the Journal of the American Planning Association. PV developers and investors in town council will be more open and receptive to industry expansion and relocation to PV, which will likely increase individual and household incomes, both of which are around $10,000, less than the average U.S. resident and household incomes. Industry will also maintain sustainable employment after the housing boom ends. <music>